Hey guys, John Richards here. Welcome back to my channel. The uh, name of this video is Consistency is the Key. But consistency for me is a superpower. And, you know, why do you need consistency? Because that's what makes everything happen. You know, so what, you know, I, the first thing I would ask you is what do you need to be consistent with? Is it something that you want? Because it's hard to stay consistent with something if it's not something you want. If it's not your goal. If it's not your dream. You know, so make sure that you really think about that. You know, don't try to be consistent with something, you know, because consistency takes time. That's why it's called consistency. And so when you've identified your goals, you know, like, you know, for the year, you know, and your vision for the next three years, make sure whatever you're working on is something that you want. You know, so what are you being consistent with? And then why do you need to be consistent? You know, you should know the reason why you're doing anything. I bought Tony Robbins' uh, time management course a while back. And one of the things he does every single day, anything he does that day, he has a reason why he's doing it. He has purpose. You know, what's my purpose of doing this? And it just makes so much sense. I think a lot of times we do things during the day or, you know, and, and, and we don't really have a reason for doing it. And then we don't understand why we're not getting the results we want in our life. So you need to really sit down and think about what do I need? What do I want my life to look like in three years and create a vision for that? And then, then you can identify the goals that you want to be consistent with. But the biggest thing with consistency is identifying. So let's say you got a goal or whatever it is, you know, you got to identify your keystone habit and, you know, and then your supporting behaviors, which I call a process or three important one must, you know, it's just a matter of being, you know, and then once you've identified that, now here's the key. You got to make those activities something you can do on your worst day. You know, I can remember there's a, uh, a, a writer, I'm not sure exactly what his name is, and his daily goal was to write one crappy page. You know, so if you set your activity goal too big, every day that you don't hit it, you're going to feel like a failure, you know? So if you're going to start, let's say you're going to start working out and you want to be consistent with working out, I would start with four days, maybe three days, get good at three days or four days. And then, Hey man, I really, I'm liking this. I want to change it. Then up it, start small, you know, any goal, you know, think big, but start small. You would not imagine what you can accomplish with small actions. Small actions create huge results. It's like, you know, I, I have one of Darren Hardy's programs, and he used to be the editor-in-chief uh, of Success Magazine. And one of the things he talked about in there, so let's say you're trying to play the violin. And you practice the violin for 30 minutes a day for one solid year without missing. You're going to improve by 3,800%. But let's say you do this same 30 minute practice, but you do it every other day. Then you're only going to approve by 600%. You know, so think about that. You know, when people tell me, say, well, I didn't get my calls done today, or I didn't get my workout in today, or I had a bad day eating, that will affect you. That will affect you. Every day, the behaviors you do every single day creates your future in 90 days. So consistency is the key. But the key is you got to make your actions small enough. You know, you can't change the world in a day. You know, Andy Frazella has something called a power list. And for the last 16 years, he's written down five critical tasks that he completes daily. Andy Frazella is pretty damn successful. Okay. So, but the biggest thing with, with the uh, critical task or your process or whatever you want to call it is you need to schedule it. Anything you get scheduled, get achieved. 
A lot of people, they get up and say, well, I'm going to do this, 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 and they don't have a calendar. You know, show me your calendar and I'll show you your life. I learned that from Sharon Sabatza. You know, you just got to put it on your calendar, make it a priority. Then it's like a rock in the stream. Everything else has to go around it. You know, so consistency is a key. What are you going to, what do you want to be consistent with? Why do you want to be consistent with it? And once you've determined that, make sure you schedule it. Hey guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I got some great videos coming your way. Talk soon.